and see her. Du, 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 du. Okay, whatever. There's nothing important. Mind your manners. Yeah. So what I was doing is, if you can time it right, well, not time it right, but at least before, you know, he turns around. What happens is uh, those aren't worth anything. What happens is, um, Lucas Sims will get gunned down by Mr. Burke, and then you got to kill Mr. Burke. So that's what usually occurs. However, if you're quick on the draw and or get the attack off first, or knew that was going to happen, then you can uh, do something like that. And back he comes. Uh, whatever. I always yeah, shut up. Got a problem? Not really. Hello? Okay, what do we have? All right, I've already done this. I've done all that. All right, cool. I've checked all that out. All right, whatever. Got something on your mind? And the reason you have to, or at least I'm always kind of a little bit gun shy when it comes to that is. I think once, I think the first time I did that on Fallout 3 for the PlayStation, I mistimed it and everyone became hostile. So I was a little upset about all that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up now. To the, to Moira. Chuck is my business. Indeed it How is. are those hot little potatoes? Or whatever. You know what I mean. Um, I got through Minefield alive and I even brought you a present. My very own landmine. Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? Uh, let's see here. I have... Oh, just the agility option, I guess. Fast hands and faster wits can get you an awful lot, including landmines. That's a pretty good way of putting it. I think I'll use that in the book. Maybe I should credit you as a co-author instead of just a researcher. I know yeah, you that'd be nice. Look good on the resume. Explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course, but it's easy to make your own too. Okay, so I got four fraggers. I got schematics for bottle cap mine. Yay! Fantastic. This completes the first chapter's tasks, correct? Yup, you've done a great job. I just need to add in the section on how to cook rat, and this chapter's done. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course, you may need them. We still've got two more chapters to go. Yeah, indeed we do, but whatever. I'm ready to start researching the next chapter. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Hmm. All right, well, I mean, I've already done this, so I know how this goes. This one is a bitch. I'm saving that for last. That one's not too bad. This one's the easiest to do, so I'm going to hate myself for this. But what do you mean by handling injury? Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? I mean, Jesus, can't you just read, like, Grey's Anatomy or something? What could possibly be worth breaking my bones over? Did you know when bones break and reheal, they grow back tougher? In a way, you'd be repaying yourself. Once I make sure you survive, of course. But in a more tangible way, I can give you a modified environmental suit of mine. How's that sound? <laughs> well, that sounds peachy keen. I guess I'll get hurt eventually. Might as well come here when I do. Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two. And I'll take notes and fix you up. I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. Okay. Thank you, Moira. Fucking... Jesus. People are fucking weird. Okay, so, time to sell stuff. 
All right, we'll sell all that. I think I'm getting to the point where I don't need these anymore because I now I have the shotguns. All right, well, whatever. Sell these. You can see I've put in quite a money to her, or quite a bit of money to her already, just because of, you know. Well, you you get the idea. Okay, I'm going to actually. I think you have some. Do you still have any? Oh no, I guess you don't. All right, hunting rifle takes 32 ammo. I will means I'll buy that because I'll be using that for probably quite a number of times. And I think I'm going to be good for now on that front. I want to get rid of some of this other armor that I just kind of keep on hand just because. Oh, um, that's worth more, so we'll do that and accept. Good. Good hunting. All right. Try not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Now with this mission. I know that, actually, I'm going to go ahead and repair some of my own stuff, because I can. First things first, that shotgun is hurting. That is for damn sure. All right. Let me go ahead and do that. With the silenced, I think that actually does less damage, but it's silenced. So, but I'm going to hold on to it anyway. Oh, well, all right, I'll do that then. Didn't realize my repair was actually getting that high, which is good. I'm not complaining. All right, now, for this mission, what I need to do is hurt myself but not to the point of death. So it's going to be me jumping off of things. Probably shouldn't have sold those frag uh, mines. I probably could have just walked over one of those. That'd be easiest. But anyway, um, yeah, let's see how this goes. Damn it, did not work. Let's try over here. No, all right. That's not where I wanted to land. Let's walk back over here then. Oh shit. All right, we're good, we're good. Okay, what did I do before? Yeah, I probably should have just done the thing with the fucking landmine. That would have been easier. I think when I did this without recording, I just simply, well, walked, well, shot a landmine and, like, broke my leg, got me down to half health. It was perfect. So with this, do I even have it set? Quite, no, I don't. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, yeah, so I need to become seriously injured, 50% or less health, and on top of that, I need to also get something broken. Now, no, I can't reach up there. God damn it, I just did this a couple hours ago and I don't remember where I went. Yeah? You need something? Shut up. Where the flying frig do I have to go? Oh, I need to talk to you actually. Ow, that hurt. Hello there. Nice to see you. Alright. I delivered the letter to Ian. Oh, thank you for remembering. With everything that's going on, I almost forgot about it. You bitch. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thanks so much. Oh, uh, sure. Oh, okay. Well, anytime you find yourself back in Megaton, be sure and look me up. Well, you don't give me an option to sex you up, so... Unfortunately, I will not be talking to you anymore. Because you don't say anything new. Dialogue the dialogue options are terrible. Ah! Trying to break my legs. Trying, trying to break my legs. How am I doing? Am I actually doing damage? Not there really. It just says I'm getting hit. Yeah, whatever. Just says I'm getting hit, but nothing's really happening. All right, let's try it again. Maybe I'm not. I gotta jump somewhere lower. Lower, lower! Yay! Oh. Ow! <laughs> okay. No, that's not what I wanted. I need to be. Get up, oh, asshole! Get, ugh, whatever. No, put that away. Okay, let's try it again. I'm already down to half health. I may this may kill me no matter what I do. I need to get crippled limbs. How bad are they? Okay, the leg is looking a bit shoddy. Can I do this? In fuck. All right, let's. Bring that back. Right, bring it back. Bring it back. <sighs> okay. Now then. So I need to try this again. The only thing that sucks is trying to do this without killing yourself. That didn't do anything, so I don't know what the right height is. hey -o. No. Alright, so once again, just like last time, I'm going to probably cut all this out. Because uh, I'm sure most of you are getting bored with me just jumping off of cliffs. Or jumping off of high places. So, um, once I successfully do both the mandatory and optional parts to this quest, I will cut this back. So, I will hopefully return, well, 
shortly rather than later. Alright, so as you can see, I finally gave in and <laughs> and um, just bought myself a frag mine and now I have a message that I can disarm said mine that will not go away. Because yeah, I have tried many times to uh, get myself killed. I tried to jump off. I'll oh, explain hey. a second. <laughs> kind of busy here, but I guess I can talk for a bit. What's up? Um, I'm fucking hurting right now. Let's talk about this serious injury. Well, how do you feel? Uh, hmm. This really hurts, you know. Oh, I know it does, dear. But it's for a good cause. Uh, try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. Um, okay. Pain, pain, I have the intelligence option. Pain's an abstract. I stay focused on the, the definable things, like survival. That's a very enlightened attitude you've got. Shame it doesn't stop bullets, huh? Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and quit fidgeting. Ugh. How can you be walking around like this? Because you asked me to do it, you dumb broad. Okay. I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side, though. Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. All right, fantastic. So I got some drugs, an environment suit. I'm ready for more research on the second chapter. There's a sort of mole rat repellent I've developed. I need it to be tested on a few mole rats before I can say it's a success. There's a lot we don't know about Mirelurks and how intelligent and dangerous they are. That definitely deserves research. And that should be it for the second chapter. Which do you want to check out? Alright, tell me more about repelling the mole rats. Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. All right. Uh, I don't know if handling weird chemicals is safe. What's it worth to you? Don't worry about the chemicals. I handled them all the time while experimenting, and I'm perfectly fine. Aren't I? I'm not going to answer How that. How about I let you have the leftover chems I used to make it? Heck, do a thorough job, and maybe I'll let you keep the repellent itself. Ooh. Well, then I'll test out the repellent for you. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator, and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. You could test it out on just God a damn few it. mole ratty. Sorry about that. But for real testing, try it on ten or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. Then I guess that is where I'm going to go. So, yeah, sorry about that. What happens every so often is when I have my hand on the mouse... Or really, this also applies really to anything, but mainly on the mouse, what happens is I will occasionally accidentally click the button. And, yeah. So, unfortunately, a left click of the mouse results in, uh, what's it called? In the skipping of conversation. So, okay. Now that I'm feeling better and whatnot. Alright, I guess we now have a repellent stick. Where to put this? I'll put that into six. And so now I also need to make sure, hopefully it showed up on the map, there it is. Yay, tepid sewers. Okay, so... Alright, I guess we'll make our way to the Super Duper Mart, and then I guess we'll take the long haul over there. Okay, there are feral dogs. There are... what the... Okay. I'm so confused right now with what's going on. Just fucking... Madness. Alright. Really? Come on. Alright, there's one. Boom headshot. God damn it, thank you. Come on, dog meat. Glad that's over. I mean, what's your problem? I've got nothing to say to you. Best move on. I'll fucking save your life, you asshole. 
Should be fucking grateful. Oh man, look. John's key, huh? I'll take that. And yeah, drugs. Alright. You're not John. Why the fuck do you have his key for? Good job, dog meat. And I didn't even lose karma. That's it. That's the funny part. Okay, so where oh where? What the? Who the hell are you? Those monsters. They're, they're gonna get me. 